If you see someone constantly triggering you to cry, then it's okay for you to pack your bags and go. I'm just putting it out there. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing okay and everyone is doing well. Another day, another Love Island review. Guys, I can't lie, I'm actually really tired, so that's why I'm in my nighty. So the second this video is done and it's live on YouTube, I'm going to beat it. But another day, another Love Island review. Let's get into it. Today we got a cheeky one hour 20, one hour 25. Did I think it was necessary? Not really, but at the same time, I definitely know that Love Island producers would have 100% monetized off the fact that people were excited that Kyla was back yesterday, okay? And allegedly, they actually filmed Love Island live for the all-star season, so that's that. But as I usually and always say, number one, if you haven't yet subscribed, be sure to subscribe and definitely join the family. Also be sure to follow me on my Instagram and also on my Twitter at Sarah Destiny X. And number three, as I usually and always say, please get cozy and comfy with a nice drink. Mine's on the floor. I've got a cheeky apple juice today. And let's get into today's review. I don't know why I'm so animated. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. Let's start off with Kaz and Tyler speaking about why they broke up. Now, there were mixed reviews in the comment section yesterday, okay? Some of you were happy that Team Kyla was back. Some of you were saying absolutely not. I want to know what you guys think about Kyla being back together after today's episode in the comment section below. Because for me personally, Kyla ate on their season. You guys can say what you want. Kyla ate on their season. And you can definitely see that there is still a lot of chemistry between them, a lot of eye contact. Like the fact that they can even have a conversation without arguing. Molly, are you listening? The fact that exes can have a conversation and not argue. Do what you want with that information, okay? But you can definitely see that there is still a lot of chemistry there as well. But I feel like the conversation was actually quite mature. I feel like it was a conversation that exes have with one another. And apparently it is spin the block season. So if Kaz wants to spin the block based on improvement with Kai, um, I said Kyla, based on, you see, it just, it just comes so natural. Based on improvement from Tyler, then I would 100% recommend that they do try and at least maybe like see they can get things together or if they can just talk it out because you can still see that there is definitely chemistry there as well. Um, and yeah, I think that's, that's my opinion on it. Like I said, I know many people aren't happy that Tyler is back, but at the same time, even despite some of the things that may have taken place between them, because we're gonna get into them later on in this review anyway, I'm glad that at least someone is in the villa that is showing interest for Kaz. And we know that the person has had an interest in Kaz before. Even though Hannah is slowly trying to, we're gonna get into that shortly because I don't know what's going on over there. But like I did say, I'm glad that someone is there for her now because it genuinely just felt like they plucked her in the villa and they just left her there. So with Tyler being back, at least we do know that there is someone who may potentially still want to continue getting to know her and someone who has known her in the past as well. But like I said, once again, let me know down below if you are here for Team Kyla. Um, and yeah, let me know. Now let's move on to Liberty and Mitch having a conversation. Nothing to say other than the fact that they spoke and they also had a kiss. Um, I did already say in yesterday's review, I don't feel like Mitch is worth tears from anyone not anyone per se but when liberty was overly crying for him i didn't feel like he was worth all of that so that's just that um of course kaz and lib as besties as you know were catching up and you know she did say that she was actually quite worried when he did give his speech whilst he was at the fire pit when he was of course introduced as a bombshell but she continued to tell lib as well that it's been two years and she respects the fact that he was candid and straight honest straight up and honest with his conversation with her and lib said of course i'm just gonna agree with you whatever you want to do because i just want what's best for you so yeah, Kaz is still definitely open to Tyler. And I feel like Tyler's open to Kaz as well. So Hannah's sliding in there all of a sudden. Very interesting. Cool, let's move on to Anton speaking to Georgia H. Guys, the streets are saying that Georgia's breath stinks. <laughs> the streets are saying that. And do you know what's so funny? <laughs> God, I shouldn't be laughing. What's funny is the fact that she also knows that her breath smells. So obviously they were talking and, uh, you know, it's not easy, man. But at the same time, like, you know, if you feel like you're someone, this is just me just speaking as a Nigerian babe, but if you feel like you're someone whose breath like, so you know when you, like throughout the day, don't just keep your mouth closed, you know, open it a tiny bit just so that fresh air can be going in and out because the reason why a lot of people's breath stinks is number one, you guys don't be washing your tongue. I don't get why people are not brushing their tongue. That don't make no sense with all the build up of the food and bacteria and all of that. And also number two, people are not opening their mouths in the day. So you're just going, throughout, going uh, throughout your whole day and your lips are closed. You need to let fresh air in so that it, as it's going in, it can also be coming out. And you know, your breath won't be smelling. But anyway, they were having a conversation and she was saying that, you know, she's really happy with him. Anton was saying the same. One thing I have noticed about Anton is he does this really weird, like, flirting face. Like, and I don't get why he does it because it, it, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. It doesn't even feel 
good. So I don't know why he does it, but anyway, they were having a conversation and then of course wanted to lean in for a kiss. And as they were about to lean in, she actually asked for breath spray, which is sad but cute. Because having smelly breath is just not it, right? But she did ask for some breast spray and Anton was almost like, you want some breast spray? Like, you know when you're talking to a child? He was like, you want some breast spray? Oh, you want some breast spray? And then she was like, yeah, I want some breast spray. I was thinking, God, girl. I'm screaming. The streets know it, but allegedly she knows it as well. I don't know how I feel about Anton and Georgia just yet because I still think she's just trying to potentially quickly move on because she's still hurt with the whole Josh situation, but it's early days, do you know what I mean? Now let's move on to Molly. She was upset that Georgina said that she wanted to get to know Callum and she went to go and cry, um, saying that it's difficult to see and she doesn't like seeing it, etc, etc. Um, I have nothing else to say other than the fact that I've already said my viewpoints from episode one. This isn't blue therapy. This isn't your therapy session. This is that. That is. It's okay. I feel like if you weren't ready to come on the show, you just shouldn't have come on the show because you specifically shouted. Let's just pull it out there. She did shout to Callum to say you need to move on. Da -da 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 -da, even though you recoupled up with him in a couple, whatever that means. But Callum actually did want to have quite a mature conversation with you, and then you just started shouting and this. You need to move on. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. The second he now decides to crack on with somebody else, all of a sudden, oh, I just don't think I can take it. Sorry, I, I'm not bully, guys. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I said that. But that's what it comes across as. It's like that she's actually been crying ever since she told Callum to crack on and Callum has actually cracked on. And this isn't the first time that she cries in today's episode as well. So I've, oh, I'm over it. I don't feel like she was ready to come back on this show. They literally just broke up six months ago from a three-year relationship. And if she needs to heal, then she should pack her bags and heal on the outside of the villa. Thank you, babes. Um, now let's move on to George, George you know, G... Gee, Georgina, <laughs> speaking with Toby about him saying on the outside that it could have happened. And of course, Toby, all of a sudden, straight, straight red. He got very irritated. He went to Callum, like, Callum, come here, bro. Why are you telling Georgia that I said that? I didn't say that. She can't have that. I said that there was a possibility. So, guys, I'm pretty sure Callum repeated everything that Toby said word for word, bar for bar, pace for pace. Like I didn't, I didn't feel like anything was misconstrued. I didn't feel like anything was misunderstood. I feel like he said it how Toby said it. And Toby didn't say it in a way like, oh, you know, there was a possibility. He said it like, yeah, if I wanted to have her, I could have had her. So I didn't really understand where Toby was coming from with the whole shouting situation. Um, and on top of that, even in his confessionals, he was like, oh, but why are you breaking boy code? So what is it? Are you upset that he broke boy code and told the girl that you used to like, allegedly? I love that word. But anyway, and told the girl that you used to like that you said she, um, you could have her on the outside? Or are you upset because mm, Georgia's actually cracked on with someone and you weren't even able to end the situation on your own terms because Georgia clearly has moved on with Callum? So what is it, okay? Were you silent or were you silenced? Because I don't really understand why you're angry. But generally, I do think it is just because um, he's mad that, you know, Georgia doesn't want him anymore and she's cracked on with Callum and he wasn't able to end it on his own terms it's almost like he still wanted Georgia to have one foot in one foot out and still get to know other people but still come back to me but you made it clear that you know we're not official which you weren't and that you also wanted to get to know other people in the villa so I don't really know but one thing I will say is that Callum 100% stood on business and said yeah but you did say that like I didn't <laughs> I didn't switch anything up so yeah I feel like he's just triggered at the fact that um Georgia has decided to completely close that door with him and he's just not really happy with that situation but yeah, I don't really understand why he was angry. Now let's move on to Chris and Arabella snuggling. Um, oh, you guys mentioned this in the live that we had on Sunday. In case you guys don't know, we do lives on Sundays now, period. Um, and you guys were saying that you do feel like Chris has almost experienced a downfall since the season side. When he first started, you know, Chris was good vibes, you know, funny, da, da 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 We did notice that he kept making, you know, sexual advances and saying sexual phrases and asking so many sexual questions. But some of you guys defo have the ick and I think I'm also now on that boat. He's a cool guy, great personality and stuff. But I just feel like he, everything he always mentions is always so sexual. Maybe that's just a turn off for me. I just don't like that in general with people. But I just, yeah. But anyway, they were having a kiss and he was saying, um, Anything else? I think he mentioned a comment about the fact that, you know, that kiss makes him want to have sex, but something weird like that. I don't really know. But yeah, um, shout out to them. I don't know how much I care about Chris and Arabella. If you do, let me know down below, but I, I, I don't know how much I care about them. Um, nighttime, nothing special to flag other than the fact that they, of course, were lipsing it up whilst everyone else was sleeping. Now, let's move on to the morning, starting off with the girls. So, Kaz was speaking to the girls about Tyler um, becoming very complacent when they were in a relationship and that they didn't end up on, you know, bad terms or anything it was just certain differences that they just couldn't resolve um Arabella was saying that her and Chris had a good kiss and Georgina was saying uh, I keep saying Georgina 
that's my friend, Georgia, sorry. Georgia kept saying that Callum was, he felt like, she felt like, sorry, Callum was very mature for telling her the things that Toby said. So I feel like Georgia also has a type, if you know, you know. Okay, now let's move on to Liberty now talking to Kaz. Um, she said that if, um, of course, Tyler wants to propose, well, Tyler wants to propose, Tyler wants to pursue her, that she deserves queen energy. Um, and then, no, sorry, Liberty was talking to Tyler about Kaz and Tyler was like, yeah, 100%, but it's early days. So even if it was going to go down that level, then yeah, we do need to have multiple conversations. Um, and yeah, I'm intrigued to see how the whole Kylie situation is going to pan out because there is still 100% chemistry there. Now let's move on to Molly she was crying to Callum saying that you know she's really trying to guard her heart and be very guarded but the situation makes her very upset um what made me scream <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest was Callum was like oh do you want me to give you a hug should I call Arabella up and he literally calls Arabella from the terrace to basically like oh come up come get your friend your friend is crying once again everything I said still stands I feel like Molly needs to heal she needs to go home I feel like if she knew she wasn't going to be ready and the thing is maybe she didn't even know that she was going to be ready or she thought she would be ready to see Callum again but if you see someone constantly triggering you to cry then it's okay for you to pack your bags and go I'm just putting it out there because once again you repeatedly told this guy to leave you alone crack on with other girls now that you see him with other girls you start crying because you're triggered and everything which I understand like I said you broke up six months ago but if you weren't ready to physically see that with your own eyes then you shouldn't have put that suggestion out there because Callum actually wanted to speak with you and you started shouting you started telling him all the things he's done wrong duh, 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 or you haven't changed etc etc the guy's now cracked on with Georgia and him and Georgia actually look really good together I don't know if I said that but yeah I'm kind of over it and I feel like um she's upset because she's not ready to move on and he isn't interested in rekindling that situation whatsoever now of course they ended up getting a text that it was time for Arabella and Chris to go on their first date um I don't have anything to say other than the fact that you know roll 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 your boat gently down the stream really 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 life is but the stream yeah they were on a boat and I guess they had some conversations but I wasn't really listening because I don't yeah that's just my thoughts. Do you guys care about Arabella and Chris? Please let me know. But I don't know why I don't for some reason. Uh, let's move on to Callum and Georgia talking. By the way, like I said, I do like them together. But she was pretty much saying that she's not going to compete with a three-year relationship. And I 100% hear it. Because I am literally in the same bill as your ex-girlfriend. And she seems to be acting weird towards me. I don't want any bad energy or that vibe. And Callum was pretty much just reassuring her. Like, yeah, like, I'm, I'm okay with you. Like, I think we have a really good thing going. So I do feel like Callum has taken a very mature approach to this as well. Do I see Callum and Molly having multiple conversations? moving forward I still see it I still see it as a storyline I won't lie to you guys but do we care no we do not care I don't care anyway let me know if you care down below but I don't think I care to see the ex on the beach recoupling rekindling situation between them because I feel like Molly has gone about it the completely wrong way um now let's move on to Hannah and Tyler talking Okay, so Hannah and Tyler were having a conversation, right? And she was just like, I just don't feel, I'm not gonna do an accent because I can't, but she was just saying pretty much, I don't feel like I've got a good connection with anyone here. I feel like everyone friend zones me. I give friend vibes, da, 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 da. And Tyler was like, you know, you've got to put yourself out there. Like, come on, man, stay positive. Like, who, who's your top three? Like, who would you say is your top three? Would you say I'm in your top three? She's like, yeah, you're definitely my top three. Like, you're chill with vibes, you're on the inch, you're on that, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I don't see Hannah and Tyler working out. Guys, is it just me? And the thing is, guys, like I said, I think Hannah is really sweet, okay? I think she's really cute. As the episodes have gone on, we can see, you know, she's very bubbly, she's very sweet and all that, those type of vibes. But um, I don't see them working. Do you see them working? I don't see them working. It's given filler. Um, oh my gosh, guys, not like that. Not like that. I mean, like, it's given, like, a filler storyline. Ah, guys! You know what's crazy? You probably didn't even think of that. Why did that come to my mind? Oh! I'm so shy. I'm sorry. Guys, I grew up watching Wendy Williams show and Real House Has of Atlanta. Shade just... Okay? Okay. Now, let's move on to Toby now speaking with Georgia. Um, Georgia said that she feels like, yeah, you may have said what you said, but the delivery was what actually was hurtful towards her and that she said in her confessionals that she feels like she just needs to close the door, that Toby was someone who she experienced in her past but definitely isn't her future partner. So Georgia is, she's standing on business, okay? She's trying to leave Love Island with a man, my man, my man, my man. But once again, yeah, I think Toby generally was just triggered at the fact that, you know, he wasn't able to end the situation on his terms with Georgia and also the fact that she's quickly moved on to someone else who clearly is more interested in her um, than he was interested in her. But that's just the viewpoint that I get. Let me know if, you, if you're if you running with a different type of vibe. 
That's the one again. Now let's move on to Kyla having a conversation. Um, he asked her if she's happy um, that he's there. And she said, of course she is. And then, you know, she was asking genuine questions. I mean, I haven't spoken to you in two years. What's going on? Do you have a job? What do you do? Has your dad? Do you guys remember Tyler's dad? The definition of good vibes. But do you get what I mean? So all of these conversations, and then he also asked her, like, you know, have you been in another relationship? And she says she was in one for six months, but it wasn't really anything that her last year's relationship was with him. Um, and one thing I am gonna say about Kaz is Kaz is definitely a babe that stands on business. She made it very clear that we broke up because X, Y, Z, okay, you weren't present for me, you didn't show up for me. That was what was really messing me up. And Tyler was like, Yeah, I know, like, yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the end, he did end up apologizing um, for how things went down and that he did say he did need to be more supportive. So once again, when you haven't spoken to your ex for a long time, not me putting myself under the bus because this happened to me, but when you haven't spoken to your ex for a long time, the first convos that you do have when you start talking again, you know, just a few convos. How are you doing? Well, this is what upset me. This is what's this, this, what that. So on one side of things, I do know a lot of people on Twitter were saying, oh, they feel like that's the closure that Kaz needs. But on the other hand, I actually do feel like it was just a convo that they needed to have if they were going to take things further because I do feel like there is potential for her and him to take things further, okay? Because you can definitely see the chemistry is still there. They're not arguing. They're honestly just having mature conversations and that's exactly how it should be now let's move on to arabella and chris they came back from their date and they shared they shared with everyone how the date went now sorry guys I'm not trying to be shady but i just don't really you know it doesn't really yeah okay now let's move on to the night time so you guys know they had the popper pop you know popping balloon game um i don't know how i you guys really know since i've been doing these reviews anyway i just <laughs> I don't know, what, what what do I expect? I'm watching Love Island, so the questions are always gonna be some type of way, but let's move on. So, Chris was asked to choose someone to give a strip tease to, and of course he couldn't choose Arabella, so he couldn't choose who he was in a couple with, so he ended up stripping for cares and giving, giving our sis a good smooch. Tyler had to snog, I've always hated that word. It just sounds very piggy, I don't know what it is, like, like snog. When I think of snog, I think of that, I don't know why. But Tyler had to snog the iron that he fancies um, he thinks fancies him, and of course he chose Kaz. <gasps> Kaz was grinning. Her smile started here, and it ended here. <laughs> okay? Kaz was grinning, but he said in his confessionals that he honestly just wanted to kiss her. I mean, it's been two years. Of course you want to know what those lips were like. Um, Hannah ended up slogging Tyler. Once again, I don't know what to make of the whole Hannah and Tyler situation. I don't think it's gonna become anything. And I feel like Tyler just seems like a nice guy who doesn't wanna hurt her feelings. So guys, just gonna take a sip. Bit thirsty. Yum. But anyway, yeah. I thought, oh, sorry guys. Oh! I'm just being a nuisance now, but anyway, yeah. Um, I feel like Tyler's just trying to be nice and just not like disappoint or anything because I don't see that working out. I don't know why. Um, but you never know. This is Love Island. Anything could happen. Now let's move on to Josh. He ended up snogging Molly as the Islander who turns him on the most. Georgia kissed Callum as the Islander who is boyfriend material. Toby was finishing me, by the way. Like he was proper screaming. He was like, wow, 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 wow. Like he was screaming for everyone. Callum was asked to kiss the Islander that he thinks is girlfriend material. Mitch shouted out, Do you think that's gonna be Molly? And Molly obviously gave him a dirty look. And I'm not surprised because can someone sew lips Mitch's lips up? Can someone sew it? Because uh, I'm and I'm gonna get into it at the end because of the situation that happens with Arabella, but it's just given ick, like in my opinion, it's genuinely just given ick because as a grown man, why do you feel the need to always say, it's like you say stuff for the approval of others or just to spark a reaction in the group. Oh, Mitch, like you're 27. Why does, why does, why does that turn you on? <laughs> okay. Um, let's of course move on to, Toby was asked to make his perfect Islander and he chose Molly's face. He chose Kaz's body. I won't lie, Kaz's body is the definition of chef's kiss. Why? Gosh, she told me to get in the gym. Okay. And personality, he chose Arabella. Um, Molly kissed Toby for someone that she would go in the hideaway with, which was very interesting. I mean, you didn't even pick the guy that you're currently in a couple with, but okay. Um, and Arabella was, um, Wait, oh yeah, Mitch was asked which islander does he think is the most likely to talk? No, sorry, I'm getting it mixed up with the other one. So Arabella was asked which islander was the most to talk behind her back and she said messy Mitch and it just seemed like banter. Do you get what I mean? Like, oh yeah, you're messy. Da, 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 da. And then of course, messy Mitch was now asked which islander do you think is the most loyal? And he chose Toby 
which makes no sense to me because you're not in a couple with Toby. But anyway, he chose Toby um, and then he chose the least as Arabella. Now, of course, that did not sit well with Arabella at all. And she told he's single in 4K and I'm so glad that she did because he was like, yeah, you were talking to other people. Are you in a situation? And she was like, yeah, but you were in a situation and you were talking to me. It's given amnesia. It's, it's given lack of memory. It's given, I don't recall my actions. And I'm glad that she told he's single in 4K. She wasn't holding back. Of course, Mitch was just like, okay, well, that's what I think, babe. Oh, I don't even think it. I know it. Like, once again, it's given making noise for the approval of others. And as a man, as a man, that's what I'm going to say. As a man, please finish my sentence for me. As a man, da, 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 da. because as a man, why are you even doing that? And then Kaz boldly pointed out, I just don't understand why he wouldn't have picked Liv. I mean, you're literally in a couple of her and then Liv obviously was looking away. Yeah, it's true. Like, what is up with you with the approval? Why would you pick Toby? You, why would you? It doesn't even make any sense now that I'm really thinking about it. Why would you pick Toby? Why would you pick another guy? Oh my gosh, storm! Is storm actually still happening? The wind is really winding outside. Anyway, yeah. Why would you pick another guy? Once again, it's given approval. I want recognition. I want my guys to think I'm a guy. Like I feel like it was it was sneaky. That's the one I'm gonna say. Boo boo. Tomato tomato tomato. Onions onions. Garlic do boo 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 boo. Boring. I just found it very like. Ugh. But I'm not surprised because Mitch is gonna be messy. But. I just don't feel like it was that necessary. Of course, you guys know we ended up getting a little glimpse into tomorrow's episode. We saw Hannah and Tyler sharing, I'm going to say an intentional kiss. So it wasn't a kiss that was done in the challenge. Um, once again, I don't know what's going on there, but let's see how it goes, all right? And also we got a glimpse that two new bombshells are entering the villa, Sophie and also Tommy. Um, is it Tommy or Tom? I think it's Tommy. Either way, Tom is short for Tommy. You guys would have remembered um, both of them. Sophie, um, her sister is, the, what's it called? Rochelle, the one that was in that group, I'm married to Marvin, the Saturdays, yeah. I don't remember much from her other than her voice. I think her voice was annoying for some people. I'm not saying it's annoying for me, but I do remember her voice. And um, Tommy as well. It's interesting, interesting cast choice, in interesting casting choice. I feel like Toby will possibly go for Sophie just because his options in the villa right now are actually quite slim. Um, and Tom, maybe Arabella, maybe Georgia. Maybe Georgia Harrison, not S, Georgia H. But let's see, you know, it's early days, things can change. As always, guys, I'd love to know what you guys actually thought of tonight's episode down below in the comments. Um, it was an okay episode. It wasn't anything like wow factor, I'll be honest with you, but that's just my personal opinion. But please let me know down below how you also found today's episode. As always, if you haven't yet subscribed, what is that K waiting for? Be sure to subscribe and definitely join the family. And also be sure to follow me on my Instagram and also on my Twitter at Sarah Destiny X. But other than that, I want to thank you guys so much. Well, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I love you loads. Take care and I shall see you tomorrow.